Hello everyone, my name is Han. I'm glad to virtually present our paper, Gradual Non-Convexity for Robust Spatial Perception, from Non-Minimal Solvers to Global Outlier Rejection. This is joint work with Pasquale, Vasilis, and Luca from the MIT Spark Lab. Spatial perception is one of the most important topics in robotics and computer vision. Key problems in spatial perception include post estimation, localization and mapping, object detection, and 3D reconstruction. Spatial perception finds extensive applications in autonomous driving, robotic manipulation, autonomous flight, and robotic search and rescue. Recently, we've seen tremendous progress in spatial perception. One of the good news is an increasing number of so-called non-minimal solvers are being discovered typically based on semi-definite and sum of squares relaxations. The distinguishing feature of a non-minimal solver is that it not only computes a solution to a perception problem, but also provides a certificate of global op optimality. I'll describe three examples. The first example is mesh registration. Given a 3D mesh model and a noisy point cloud, suppose we have correct correspondences. The non-minimal solver proposed by Brialis can find the globally optimal alignment. The second example is shape alignment. Given a 3D mesh model and a 2D image with 2D to 3D correspondences, the non-minimal solver proposed in this paper can find the globally optimal camera pose. The third example is post graph optimization in SLAM. Given noisy odometry and loop closure measurements, SE Sync can compute the globally optimal pose graph. However, the bad news is these non-minimal solvers are brittle in the presence of outliers. For example, if we spoil incorrect correspondences and incorrect loop closures, then the solutions returned by non-minimal solvers are far away from the ground truth. In practice, having a large amount of outliers is very common. Therefore, outlier robust spatial perception is crucial to real-world applications. RANSAC has been the most popular framework. However, RANSAC has two drawbacks. First, RANSAC requires a minimal solver, which is not available for several problems in perception. Second, the number of iterations in RANSAC grows exponentially with outlier rate, making RANSAC inefficient in high outlier regime. M estimation is also a popular method. However, M estimation is prone to local minima and requires a good initialization. There also exist specialized global solvers such as consensus maximization using branch and bound and adapt. However, branch and bound has exponential time complexity and the number of iterations in adapt also grows linearly with outlier rate. It's also possible to use convex relaxations to design certifiable solvers, but this method is currently not scalable due to the limitations in SCP solvers. In this paper, we propose a general framework to robustify non-minimal solvers. Let me first introduce a common formulation for geometric perception. In this formulation, x is the unknown geometric model to be estimated, such as 3D rotation and translation. y is a set of visual measurements, such as image key points and 3D point clouds. r is a residual function that quantifies the disagreement between the geometric model and the visual measurements. And rho is a cost function. For example, rho can be least squares for outlier free estimation and rho can be truncated least squares for robust estimation. To put things in context, existing non-minimal solvers essentially solve the convex and non-robust least squares estimation. And our goal is to reject outliers and solve the non-convex and robust estimation. Our proposal is actually very intuitive. We start by solving the convex problem and then we gradually increase the non-convexity until we reach the target robust estimation. This strategy is called graduated non-convexity. The crux of GNC is to design a surrogate function with a control parameter that we call mu. Varying the value of mu changes the surrogate function from convex least squares to non-convex robust cost function. For example, in the GNC TLS surrogate function, when mu tends to zero, the surrogate function tends to a convex cost function. When mu tends to infinity, the surrogate function recovers in non-convex truncated least squares. As another example, the GNC-GM surrogate function tends to least squares when mu tends to infinity 
and recovers the gm robust cost function when mu tends to 1. Now a natural question is how to op optimize the surrogate function. We leverage the idea called black Rangarajan duality, which states that the surrogate function is equivalent, equivalent to the sum of two terms, where the first term is the weighted least squares and the second term is a function of the weights called the outlier process. Using the decoupled formulation, we can use alternating minimization to optimize the surrogate function. At the first step, we fix the weights and optimize the variable x. This optimization is a weighted least squares problem that can be solved globally using the existing nominal solvers. At the second step, we fix the variable x and optimize the weights. This optimization splits into n independent scalar optimizations and can be solved in closed form. Now we are ready to state the complete GNC algorithm. At initialization, all the weights are set to be 1, meaning that we don't have any prior information on inliers and outliers. The control parameter mu is set to be mu0, such that the first surrogate function is convex, and we can obtain the global minimizer using non-minimal solvers. Then we increase the non-convexity of the surrogate function by multiplying mu with a constant factor delta, and we use the solution from the last step as the initial guess of the current step to optimize a new surrogate function. We keep doing this until the cost function converges. We test the performance of GNC on four different applications. GNC achieves state-of-the-art robustness in all of the four applications. In point cloud registration, GNC is robust to 80% outliers. In mesh registration, GNC is also robust to 80% outliers. In shape alignment, GNC achieves robustness against 70% outliers, while in post-graph optimization, GNC is robust against 90% outliers in the loop closures. Next, I will show the performance of GNC compared with other state-of-the-art algorithms for robust estimation. In mesh registration, RANSAC requires a minimum of 12 correspondences. In the right plot, we see the number of iterations in RANSAC grows exponentially with outlier rate and quickly hits the iteration limit and therefore RANSAC fails around 50 to 60% outliers. In the left plot, we see both GNC and ADAPT are robust against 80% outliers. However, GNC is more efficient because it has constant running time with respect to outlier rate, while ADAPT has a linearly increasing running time. Here I show an example of mesh registration with 70% outlier correspondences. Green lines are inlier correspondences, and red lines are outliers we see that GNC TLS is able to compute an accurate alignment, while RANSAC fails to find a consensus set within 10,000 iterations. We have similar results in shape alignment. As shown in these images, GNC is robust against 70% outliers, while RANSAC and Joe's method based on error regularization fail at a 60% outlier rate. GNC is also more efficient. It takes 20 to 40 iterations to converge, while RANSAC takes over 100 iterations, and ADAPT takes over 60 iterations. Lastly, as a qualitative visualization of a GNC algorithm, we show the convergence of the pulse graph and the convergence of the weights on the Intel dataset using the GNC TLS algorithm. We see that GNC gradually increases the weights of inliers and decreases the weights of outliers. Therefore, the estimation becomes more and more robust as GNC continues to reject more outliers. In conclusion, we presented gradual non-convexity as a general purpose algorithm for robust spatial perception. Just like RANSAC can be applied to any problem with a minimal solver, GNC can be applied to any problem with a non-minimal solver. We show that GNC is highly efficient. It has almost constant number of iterations with respect to increasing outlier rates, while RANSAC exhibits exponential growth. GNC is also faster than specialized algorithms based on STP solvers, such as Teaser. Finally, a key advantage of GNC is that it does not require initialization. Thanks for your attention.